All right, Fernando Escobar, your interview starts in three, two. Hi, Alejandra. Nice to meet you. Hi, Fernando. You were so good in Fatima. Thank you. By wearing all that stuff in the summer, did that make you more like Jacinta? Oh, yeah. All, all of this clothes from the 1920s was, was really, really realistic. And it really made me feel like Jacinta. Now, by being so close to where Fatima happened, and you visited it, right? Yeah. Did it make you feel like it's even more real? Yeah, I went to the church where Francisco, Jacinta, and Lucia are, are buried. And they actually kind of made me cry. Oh, wow. Wow. Isn't it tough when you're a kid and you see something and then people don't believe you? How tough is that? Yeah, it, it must have been really, really hard for them, especially being just kids. They're eight, 10 and 12 year olds, you know? I, I, th I think it was very, very hard for them and I, and I would feel horrible. Now you worked with all these veteran seasoned actors and you come in and do your first film. How was it being on a, on a set for the first time and, and being with all these professionals? Well, I was kind of like nervous, but just a little bit because I have been rehearsing the two weeks before for during two weeks I have been rehearsing. And also, they made me feel really comfortable there. They were very nice to me and everything. Before you shot the movie, what were you thinking about before the movie? And then when you actually were shooting it, was different than what you thought it was going to be? Yeah, it was different because I've never been in a movie set before that. so. It was different, and I thought I was going to be more scared and nervous, but I actually wasn't that, that nervous. That's good. That's good. That means, uh, well, now, I mean, before, you, you didn't even shoot any commercials or TV. You just went straight in with your first feature film. Yeah. Yeah. You see, my, my dad is an actor. And we have an agency, and the agency called up and said, if, you're, if your daughter is an actress, then I have this part for her. And so, yeah, I did a selfie casting from home, and they liked me. And I went to Madrid, and in Madrid, I got the part. That's so cool. So cool. So you do a selfie, a selfie thing, and then... Oh, well, no, wait. No, no, no. Uh, like... From the telephone of my dad, he was recording me. Oh. But, but yeah, from, from my house. But even though your dad helped you get this part, um, where were you and what were you feeling like when you for sure you got the part? I was really, really excited. I told everyone. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't just wait. Um, I, I asked... When am I supposed to go? Where am I gonna go? Like, I was very, very excited. Okay, here comes a tough question. So all movies have like a, a sentiment or a message for everybody. Like, like we're trying to tell everybody something. So what does this movie tell us all about, about us humans, about, you know, about kids, about what is it? I, I think it, it sends a, me a message of not hiding, like, yourself. Because, like, at, at first I wanted to keep it a secret, and then they, 
they show, showed it to the world. And kids don't always lie. <laughs> That's so true, right? Kids don't always lie, not to mention if there's three of you and everyone saw it and it's like, you, and, 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 and this movie's kind of, it's, it's, it's like a Rocky. It's, I know you've never seen Rocky, but it's very powerful because you're rooting, you're rooting for you guys. Now that you're this veteran actress, what would you tell other eight and nine year olds how to be, how to go into a film? Uh, just, um, like, really get into the character. If it's a true story character, do loads of research and become that character. And if you didn't get the part, well, don't, don't worry about it. You get many other opportunities. You sound like a professional already. Now, do you respect your dad's work more now because you now you know what your dad does? Yeah, I kind of do. Kind of? Just Yeah, a lot. <laughs> so your next film, you're doing uh, La Vampira de Barcelona. Uh, yeah, I, it was a small part compared to Fatima but it was here in Barcelona and it also a true story but but it, it at the same time also yeah it was in the 1920s also but it was kind of the opposite it wasn't angels and saints it was more of like devil and death wow from one extreme to the other yeah that's cool well, Alejandra, you are really, really good. Thank you. And the film's really fun to watch. And I'll see you on a red carpet one day in, in Madrid, Barcelona, in Lisbon, Nueva York, or Los Angeles. Una de esas partes. Um, thank you very much for saying that. I hope so, too. Okay. Ciao. Bye. Bye.